People Station 93.7 WBLK Todd Anderson with two world champions in the house, Joe Taylor and Abdul Amir Abdallah. Amir Abdallah. I knew I was going to get it wrong. <laughs> Amir Abdallah. Now, Amir, I understand uh, that you are literally a world champion or you're, you, you have a world title fight coming up. I have a world title fight coming up. Right now I'm ranked number two in the world. I am the intercontinental champion. Really? And uh, we're fighting for the uh, world title this Saturday. Uh, now, Joe, you have a world title too, right? Um, I am an amateur world champion. Okay, okay. And I'm having my pro debut this Saturday. Okay, so both of you guys are fighting this Saturday. Um, your world champion... As an amateur. Amateur debut. Yes, sir. And his professional debut. My, um, yes. Oh, professional debut. Yes. But you're fighting for what title? No title. It'll be my pro debut. Oh, okay, okay. All right. And Amir, you're fighting for the world title. Who are you fighting against? Fighting some bum from England. <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is, man. He's coming over here, and we're going to uh, dump him on his neck and send him back home. Wow. Uh, we'll find Daniel Hughes. He's a British champion, um, and uh, and we're looking forward to a, a great, successful event. So, how long have you been fighting? You know, I turned pro October of 2000. Um, I took a little bit of time away from my career and started working on the promotional aspect of building lace-up mm -hmm. promotions so that we can have a big enough stage here in Western New York to put on guys like Joe Taylor and you know, okay. some of the up-and-coming guys. So um, I've been doing it you know, professionally for 16 years, but I've been in the martial arts and competing all my life. So you said what promotion company? Lace Up Promotions. Lace Up Promotions, that's your company? It is, yeah. We're based out of uh, Las Vegas now, but uh, of course we started here in Western New York. Okay, all right. And where do you guys train? Uh, Joe trains at Western New York MMA under uh -huh. uh, Corey Webster and at the Lockwood Athletic and Fitness Club with his uh, training partner, Kendrick Houston. Okay. I train out in Las Vegas at the Mayweather Boxing Club. All right. Are you from Buffalo? I am, originally uh, proudly Western New York raised, yes. All right. Now, Joe, um, he just mentioned uh, Mayweather, and I've, I've heard you talk about uh, the money team. Yes, right? sir. Yes. You have a new baby. Just want, to, want you guys to know where the where the crying is coming from. We're not uh, we're not abusing any children in here. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so the money team is Mayweather, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Right. So you've met Mayweather, you've talked to him, and you work very closely with him. I am. Uh, I'm here? Floyd Senior's agent. I'm his business partner, as long as Jeff Mayweather. Um, really? Yep, wow. And we're out there in, the, in Las Vegas, and Joe's had the opportunity to come out, and he's been training at the Mayweather Boxing Club. Wow. Uh, we actually were fortunate enough to bring the Mayweathers here to Buffalo for the first really? time. We took them around to the falls, and uh, we, got a, we, we introduced them to a nice winter in western New York, and okay. of course, Tim Horton's coffee. <laughs> well, when you bring them back, man, you got to bring them by the station. Okay, definitely will. No, they loved it here. They had a great time. Wow, wow. So, um, uh, now, do you, have you ever trained with Floyd? Uh, Floyd Jr., you know, he comes into the gym sporadically, and when Floyd trains, everybody stops because everybody just watches Floyd train. Now you're saying Floyd Jr. is the Floyd Mayweather we know, of right? Of course, yes. Floyd yeah. Sr. is the dad that he always, he's always having problems with. On his well, show. no, not anymore. They, that was a <laughs> spat they had a long time ago. Unfortunately, the media just picks that part of it up and right, says right, they right. don't get along. They get along fantastic. They're they're, I mean, they're just like any other father-son right, relationship. Right, right, right. Everybody has their ups and downs, but no, they are a very functional and uh, and loving family. Yeah, that was pretty heated, man. Pretty ah, heated. Man, you know what TV sells, and you know that <laughs> the media they don't report planes landing safely, so they took that and they blew it up to what it is. But no, Floyd Jr. and Floyd Sr. have a great relationship. They all, the whole family does. So Saturday, and where is this fight taking place? At the La Porquina Arena. Um, doors open at five. Fight starts at six. Okay. All right. And uh, so tell me what's in store uh, in your fight, Joe. Um, well, I'm going to be, uh, my fighter is coming from, where is he coming from? Um, in the Syracuse, the Syracuse area. Syracuse area. Okay. Um, Black Belt has a few professional fights under his belt. Okay. Um, not concerned at all. Training camp been going well. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just ready to fight this Saturday, you know, get the pro debut out the way. Okay. And Amir, uh, tell us what's in store in your fight. You know, it's, it's been a fight that's been leading up my whole career. Ever since I laced up gloves, my ambition and my goal was to capture a world title. Um, 
God willing, you know, this, uh, this Saturday I'll be the first Western New York native to win a world title here in Western New York. Wow. Um, you know, of course, we have the support of the guy who really laid the foundation of, of fighting here, Baby Joe Macy, mm-hmm. who really paved the path. And he was, you know, this close to being able to do it before the um, unfortunate injury that he suffered. But he'll be there. He'll be actually walking me out to the ring Saturday. Wow. And uh, we're looking forward to having a, a great performance, a good, tough fight. I know he's going to come to fight, but we're going to try to lay him down and get him out of there early. Yeah, well, I'll be there. I got to see this, man. This is uh, going to be pretty amazing. And I have one more question now. Both of you guys, uh, you train Joe. Is that how that you know, it's how funny. works? Joe's father actually was one of my trainers. Oh, really? And, okay. Um, and he always wanted Joe to fight, but okay. Joe was too stubborn to fight. Okay. And uh, and <laughs> the great Johnny Taylor uh, passed away uh, a few years ago, and that's when Joe said, "You know what? I want to fulfill my dad's dream. I want to fight." And I said, "Joe, let's go." So we took him under our wing. He trains now with Corey Webster, who was one of my students also. Wow. Um, and, uh, and he's brought him up, and Joe's just been taking the amateur ranks by storm. I mean, knocking out guys. In the amateurs, you really don't see that. Right, right, Joe right. is stopping these guys and claimed a world title. He won a gold medal in Spain. Um, right. He's ranked number one in the country by two different uh, sanctioning bodies. So the only logical step is for him to turn professional, and that's what he's doing Saturday. Wow, that's that's pretty exciting, Joe. Um, so with that said, are you guys going to fight one day? Fight each other? Yeah. Oh, he better. He hopes not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no. Joe, Joe is going to be, Joe is the future of, 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 uh, of Lace-Up Promotions. Okay. Today he's the prince, I'm the king. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you again. Are you guys going to fight one day? Never. No, we're not going to fight. Never. No? Never. So if you have the world title... I mean, you'd want the world title too, right? Yes, I, I would so definitely. How, how I would would that, definitely. How earn, would that work? I would definitely earn a world title, but will we fight? Never. One reason why is because we're best friends. That's one, and not just best friends, family. And okay. I have number of love and respect for Amir. And That's our awesome. weight classes are oh, different. different. Okay. Yes, but you know, and he he brought me up. You know, he taught me. He's teaching me everything that okay. I know now. And I'm signed with him, Lace Up Promotions. I have nothing mm-hmm. but love and respect for Amir. And if, any, and, and if anyone ever crosses the line to Amir, they cross the line with me. Mm-hmm. And it's just nothing but respect. And that's never a thought that goes on in our heads. Yeah, and all joking aside, that's really what it comes down to is, uh, you know, we're family. And, right, um, right, right. And, no, and, no matter how much money they offer, it will never happen. At 38 years old, you know, I'm at the tail end of my career. I might have a fight or two left, but Joe's the future. Joe's the one that's going to take this thing by uh, by the by the horns, mm-hmm. and uh, and he is he. I mean, that popularity this kid has, just the ambition, the 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 drive that he has, you know, it's unmatched in this area, and that's why he has the following that he does. Now, where can people get tickets? Right now, VIP tables are sold out. VIP seats are sold out. Ringside seats are sold out. General admission tickets are still left, okay. and they're available either online at TicketFly.com or they'll be available at the door Saturday at the Keenan Arena. And what's the, uh, it's in Lockport, right? It's in Lockport. It's $25 so, uh, for a general admission ticket to get Do you in. have a, a specific address? Uh, it's 433 Locust Avenue, and that's uh, in Lockport. Doors open at 5, right? Doors open at 5. Get there early because it's going to be uh, packed out. All right, But you guys. I do have your two ringside tickets. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait, man. <laughs> Well, congratulations to both Thank of you, you guys. I know uh, it's going to be exciting. I know both of you will win, and uh, I'm going to get some footage of the fight God, like and, uh, and put it on the uh, BLK website. I appreciate it. Thank um, you for your support. Next Thank week. you, Buffalo, for the support. And, uh, you know, come on out Saturday. It'll be an awesome time. Yes, definitely. Thank you all for the support. Todd Anderson, Yasmin Young, 93.7. Thank you very much. Lawport 716. We're going to do our thing this Saturday. Oh, speaking of Yasmin. She's going to DJ afterwards, right? Yes. You got an after She's party. Doing the uh, post fight after party at the Lockport Pub. Joe Taylor will be making their appearance there. Uh, you know, at 38 years old, too, I'm a little bit too old for that kind of stuff. But <laughs> hang out with Joe Taylor down at the Lockport Pub right after the fight. All right, all right. Sounds good, you guys. Thanks a lot for coming Thank by. You. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us on. Let me, let me just get a. Um, You guys get a little closer. I just want to get a still shot.